Okay, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. There's gonna be a couple different videos blended into one here. It's kind of a channel update and a kind of a, I'm changing my business big time. I really am. Everything's changing. I've said that a few times. It's changed little bits. Ah! Check this out. I'm gonna throw this video up. It's an older video I made about, I don't know, two weeks ago when Chuck was leaving. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on that's just stressful. And with that in mind, um, things have even changed since I made this video. I don't know what's going on with other people and other people's schedules and it's hard to plan and everybody's hard to plan. It's just the way life is. Um, and my stuff seems to be just getting more hectic, more hectic, more hectic. Uh, me and Chuck were talking and actually I was talking to Josh and I was like, dude, we gotta figure out a way to get people to know that you're actually trying and you're actually sorry about when you fuck things up and you're actually saying things back later on. He'll come back over at night and say, hey man, I'm sorry about this, that, and that. So we kind of made a video with Josh here um, just kind of talking about the problems and we just said we're gonna talk through the problems, talk about what's going on and try and you know, understand each other better. So that's what this is. Big long video, big update. Thanks for watching. Check us out. I'll never quit. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And although I'll never quit, things are changing. And they're gonna change big time. I'm sick of the way things are. And it's been about three years, two and a half, three years, that I've been not exactly in the swing of things, closing down yards, going from six down to three. Four. Six down to four, and now I've got. I'll explain some of the problems. Had a hard drive crash. Boom! That caused big problems. That put me behind a little. And now, my other lot I was moving out of, and now I just got to notice that I have to move out of this one. So now I've got to move out of this lot, my main lot. And not only that, in nine months I have to move out of the one where my dad is. So I've got all three lots up in the air. From employee problems with my nine year employee and my two-year employee from way back three years ago, two and a half years ago. Um, that all played in and really has put everything on me. Um, problems that, I mean, Matt was here for nine years, eight years, he did a good job, kinda. Um, he got a lot of stuff done for me, but um, when I started closing down lots, eh, rats from sinking ship type thing. So I've been condensing, getting together. This just got detailed, that. That one just got detailed. This one just came in. So some of the older stuff, some of the newer stuff, whatever. Whether it's relationship stuff, or my hard drive, or my leases, or whatever, everything's against me. I've had fucking just nothing but problems with all of it lately, and it's just a tub of shit for a lot of stuff. I'm always trying to smile and power through it. Um, that's definitely what I want to do, is just keep moving ahead. Um, shrug it off and go for it. So that's what's going to be happening. But as far as people, I am sick and tired about all the people around me. Um, I'm sick of being taken advantage of. I'm sick of giving and giving and giving and people just taking and taking and taking. And in the end, I don't care if it's family, I don't care if it's friends, I don't care if it's whatever. Just for somebody to give you the respect to be able to be you and just to be able to help you when you help them. Pay back what they owe and different things like that. Some of the best friends in my life owe me thousands of dollars and that's why we don't talk. It's because I actually loaned them money. And it's not the way to go. Uh, so, there'll be another part about this in a second. That's getting put up on the eBay thing and that's getting put up on the eBay. I'm getting rid of it. The Volvo's scrapping. This thing is for sale if you're wanting it. Boom. I'm gonna do a quick walk around. This one might be for sale again. The Jaguar for sale on the website. All three of these, the two W126s and the Jaguar on the website. The Excursion is on the website. CL500, new one just came in. That one is not on the website, but will be really soon. That's on the website. That, we just got the fuel pump back in, so it'll be up for sale again. On the website, not for sale. That's coming up soon. That's on the website. Cheapity cheap cheap. Coming up soon, going to Montana. Um, this is running, driving, and coming up soon. Chuck got this one going. New inventory here, got the Cadillac Escalade. Going, 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 going. Um, you want a deal, you want an absolute steal. It's a 59,000 mile Oldsmobile. It's in great shape, a little 3800 motor. 
It's got dust all over it, but it shines, it's clean, leathered out, all the options. I just want it gone. Um, I believe it's got a fuel pump issue. It's either out of gas <laughs> or has a fuel pump issue. Nice leather, the whole deal. 59, 57. I was wrong with that. Give me 1450 bucks, it's a Royale, and this thing's out of here. You can have it. Um, gone. Um, got a motorhome coming up. Got two of them coming up, actually. The Escalade's coming up. This DeVille's coming up. The Mustang and the Bravada. Get any of these, call me. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Took a deposit on the cop car, and the guy didn't come through. Get this cop car from me. Special, 2850 bucks. It's only got like 72,000 miles. It's an 08. This thing, you want it, get it out of here. 1850 bucks. Coupe, 92,000. I've had it way too long. Um, this thing, 800 bucks. Aurora, 59,000. I just talk about it in a video every once in a while. I don't never advertise it or nothing like that. 68,000 original miles, all leathered out. Nice car. Cheap, get this one out of here. Um, 1900 bucks. Audi A4 or A6, I don't know. It's a Cabriolet, how's that? It's a Cabriolet and it only has like 72,000 original miles, one owner. Uh, the 83 DeVille. 750 bucks. Just get it out of here. I want it gone. And there's a breeder dog. She heard me. What are you doing, breeder? Yeah. <clears throat> so, the Starfire will be coming up. Cool little car. The Brickland will be coming up. And that'll bring us into some of the next things. Like, this hasn't been started in a long time. Well, <clears throat> right now the tank's out of it. Why is the tank out of it? Because it's got a bad fuel pump. Got that ordered. It's coming in. This has got a bad starter. So these will be worked on, that'll be worked on. Um, just a couple things that'll be done. Look at this. These kids just leave this sticking up like this. <clears throat> Tools out. This isn't how stuff gets left. And I'm sick and tired of them leaving stuff like this. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. I have to, hang on. I have to do everything. I have to keep checking up on everybody. And no matter if it's somebody that's my friend, in a relationship or whatever it may be, in the end, it's all my responsibility. And if they're my friend or in a relationship, then it ends up just be me getting taken advantage of more, it seems, to where people just think it's normal for me to just keep taking care of everything. Look at this match is pretty good. Got that all painted now. If you're familiar with that one being unpainted for so long. Yeah, the guy primer. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. problems from employees. <clears throat> On the good end, Colin came down. Colin's a good guy. I'm glad I got to meet him. Um, great guy. With that in mind, what we do is different. Um, he basically just does chip, dent repair, and buffs. That's what he does. If I had more of that, like I had on the big lot a few years ago, boom, we'd have something going. On the creation of product and the different making videos, he just simply, he said he doesn't want to make the videos. Um, he did want to, but it does take a lot. And um, as a friend and stuff, Colin's a great guy. Will he come back and be working again? I don't know, he might. Um, he's welcome back anytime, and we still got a car that we're doing stuff on and everything. Um, in fact, you could buy it if you're in Canada. Nice Seville, it's on my website as well. Uh, great one. So that's Colin. And then Josh, you've been seeing him around. You've seen some other people filter through and me just get the hell rid of them. Josh, Chuck, that's where we are. Chuck's back, and you'll see the video coming up, picking him up at the airport and everything. And we're gonna be just zooming this stuff on out just as fast as we can. And Chuck's gonna be around a lot. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. He's coming back after he's down this time for two weeks. In two weeks after, so that's what I meant. Blah, 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 blah. Josh, total different case. The kid's green, man. The kid don't know a lot. And it's not really his fault, just a lot of kids nowadays don't have the common knowledge of doing cars or doing things to cars or well, they don't have life experience, and that's what adds in a lot. And me and Chuck are pretty gruff and rude. And, oh, come on, man, what the hell? And stuff like that, you know? Well, most people nowadays aren't as gruff and... They just don't work like that. So he actually... Man, when he screws stuff up, you see him... Be, oh, man. And I see it, and I see where he wants to try. And so I'm hoping he learns, and I'm hoping we can get this moving and keep moving along. Shucking on down the line. Actually, he's staying here in one of these motorhomes, RVs. I don't know where. Clip more in a second. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
<laughs> oh, baby doggy. What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, so, like I said, sick and fucking tired of it. That's all there is to say about it. From friends, to family, to relationship old peepee little and everything else over the last 10 years. Blah. But, I'm gonna keep going. And, Chuck is actually down from Montana, and it's nice to connect with somebody from like, fucking 30 years ago in life and stuff. 30? 28? 28? 28, 30, yeah. Then there's Josh. Damn. So, basically, we're gonna make a little video on stuff. I don't know what. And Josh is here. We won't say Josh. I don't know. Well, Josh is gonna explain. Josh came up, up, down, down across, so across from Massachusetts. Yeah, Massachusetts. He threw his car keys in the car. Yep. Put his keys in the car. And just went. Said across. bye to his mom. <laughs> bye to my mom. Got his tum tum. Got my tum tum. And hit the road road. Yes. So. Tell us a little about yourself, Josh. Look at Breeder, um, she's looking at the camera my too. My name's Josh, and I'm here from Massachusetts to be an actor, and I'm going to school out here. And um, yeah, I traveled coast to coast. Um, you like Space Ghost? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you just like Space Ghost. I like Space Ghost. So, that's. You worked where now? I've worked at Dunkin' Donuts um, and stuff, and like served coffee and stuff. And now I'm working on um, cars and don't know a whole lot. That's kind of the same, huh? Yeah, it's very similar. Cars and donuts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, just trying my best. I don't know a whole lot. But. So now Chuck's worked on all kinds of stuff. His main thing, and like I've said, blue. We're going to put this up here for a second and see what we get. All I need is a tripod. That's what I really need. I guess the next question would be the obvious question is, did Josh know what a did jo Josh know what a tripod was? Are you kidding me? Well, you said we didn't have one. Did you? Did you? No, no, no wait a minute. No, when you say, are you kidding me? No, this is a funny part. But we say you're kidding me. I don't know if you're kidding. Me. <laughs> like really? Do you know what a tripod is? No. It's yeah. that thing. Would you, if he would say, go get your tripod, would you look for that? Well, I asked yeah. if we had one. He said it wasn't yeah. over here. So, I mean, I was just assuming maybe he didn't know. I assumed he didn't know either. I knew. Okay. Now I'm, so, I'm starting to see some things. <clears throat> no. Clubbing? Have you been clubbing? No. Huh. I don't know what that is. He goes on these, like, five-hour workouts, and then when he gets back, he ain't worked out. It's kind of Or he grabbed his gym bag in his clothes. Yeah. Where you where are you going to the gym? I haven't seen you in a couple hours. There you cruise back. Yeah, What's up, dude? Oh, I'm grab my clothes. Go for a job. Explore the city. Explore the area. <coughs> you, you don't know where the cities are yet. <laughs> where you at? I don't know. Over by that place. It's like 20 minutes away. But... I said <coughs> something about tokens the other day. What? About what? About tokens. About oh, tokens. Oh, he knew what tokens. Yeah, video yeah. 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 Video yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not following. We didn't want to have to, but we started, and that's what we found. We followed him. They followed me? Oh, shit. Where'd you follow me? That's why we had to send the kids away. <laughs> Wait, where'd you follow me to? <clears throat> I'd like to say it was to your mom. <laughs> you don't know what town it was, right? No. Yeah, that place over there. It's about 20 minutes away. Oh! Oh, God, you're on me. You're right on me there. He <laughs> <laughs> seems to like it or something. I was trying to get her off, dude. You're going. trying to get my dog off? Just a minute. You sick Just fucker. <laughs> Easy now, girl. Get over there. There you go. She gets set right on. Let's just step right on him, too. Both yeah. feet. It's so rude. It's so rude. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was hoping to check here more. But help more. But I'm kind of glad he just frustrated me a little bit, too, because 
not cleaning enough paintbrushes and this and that. We try to make a move and it costs us more than we tried to make just trying to make the move. It's like falling down a hole and climbing the ladder and the rungs keep breaking. Going around in circles. Analogies after analogy is not the way it's supposed to go. <laughs> right. I, would, I would continue. We'd continue with that. <coughs> Hey, you didn't mix the paint. You don't mix the paint. You don't clean the brushes. That's hard. And like, and like you ain't done it before, and I get that. But at the same time, we can't read. And they do put instructions on you know, the paintbrush. But we'd already, he'd already told you, and he'd already cleaned the paintbrush and things, and showed you how. And that's where it gets frustrating. Where it's like, you know, I don't remember to clean them again after we used them again. I can't give you a job to do. And I want to be able to give you a job to do. The washing the cars, we're getting pretty good on that. <coughs> New things are hard, Josh. They really are. I mean, for anyone, they're hard. New things. Yeah, but the point becomes it's just easier to do it myself than to have to do it three times with you on some things. And there's other things where it's clipping along good. And I'm hoping we get more and more of that. But I don't know. What I've done a lot of structure sites too where somebody's all they can read really tape. They too more well, I can do this. I've done this for a long time. They get on there and they don't want to damn thing. Or the guy that thinks he knows it all, knows a little bit. I'd rather have a guy like you with a good attitude and ambition. That wants it. Right. And I do want to learn and especially because of my situation where I'm living here for free or you know, and I want to start paying, but obviously I want to do a good job. I don't want to upset you, Nathan. Like, I don't want to... That's not... I don't want to be upset. Yeah. It's upsetting. It's upsetting to be upset. It is, I agree. Quite frankly. And I don't like the feeling of people being upset at me. Well, not a good feeling. A lot of it's common sense. Like, when me and him are into the car, at opposite ends of the car is trying to talk, and you and Paul are out there talking about band camp. Fart jokes, I mean. Fart jokes. It just fucking sucks. It's just... And we play into that shit with him playing around out there. It's not... Work. I mean, we've got all day. You got 15 hours a day. You're up playing around, drinking off. You could be doing it during that time. Right. I completely get that. He literally means jerking off. I literally. <laughs> you got them tokens in that booth. I don't know what that. Is. <laughs> He's playing the card, isn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turns beat red. I won't yeah, talk. Yeah, about yeah that turns is. beat red. <laughs> I'll bet it does. <laughs> I'll bet it does. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be crude. Very crude. crude. Sometimes we seem pissed on me. Sometimes we seem like we're mad at you. And we are oh. because we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're much are. Not a joke. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <coughs> you guys are just salty. You're just a bunch of salty guys. You know. I've had girls say that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a guy say that. Yeah, you're the first. They're cupcake. You're the one who used that word, salty. I've had sweet, okay. salty. <laughs> I just get in the moment. I, you saw me. You see me steaming red, pissed off. Because they're upset, because you don't what? bottle it up. Because because a lot of it has to do with stupid. Well, that's the problem. Like, if you know what you're doing so much, and you know you're a smart guy, and then if you say do it yourself, you just smack. I do. You shut up. I really. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm, no, I, I know what you guys are saying, though. I mean, you guys are smart guys. So when you see someone do it wrong, it's like idiot. You should know that. Man. It's not so much that as like it is that sometimes, <laughs> but it's also the biggest thing is how do you tell someone? After a week, it's like I said earlier, it starts off. I mean, Colin were here was, no, Josh, it needs to be like this. And, Josh, come on, dude, it needs to be like this. Dude, are you fucking kidding me, Josh? And then, like, down the road, it's just, it gets so grueling, and then it's just everything that we're like, you gotta learn a lot. And, like, that's the thing. I'm not making excuses. But you're, no. you just got, no, you, you got so many different, different, different liquids for different things, and it was really overwhelming at first. And then how to make them. But it's getting there. I mean, it's no more different than the kinds of sprinkles and jams and fucking Dunkin' Donuts. Dude, that's a good point. The cappuccinos and everything else. That's a good point. It's true. Well, it is I'm true. not great Dunkin' Donuts. It's just, you know, we're talking about 
Greece the night 16th. <laughs> You're talking about. Well, see, that's the thing. Not even knowing what the toys are. Cream. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's different things, but you'll catch it. And you might not need to know what riches are your whole life. You know? God, I hope you don't need me. <laughs> <laughs> It is, no it offense. Is, no offense. That's alright. I mean, I'd, I'd get it down eventually. You'll get it down. Um, I think picture cards. <laughs> you know what I mean? When I say socket, you come back with a drill. <laughs> picture cards. That would be a huge. Oh, picture know, cards. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, drill. <laughs> socket. Pay attention now. <laughs> socket. Adapter. <laughs> well, I didn't grow up with you guys. Not to say I grew up, you know, wealthy or whatever. I didn't grow up. Bike. Of course I know how to ride a bike. I, it's just a simple question. I, was, I wouldn't have been shocked if you said no. Do you know how to ride a unicycle? Can you swim? Yeah, no. You can't swim. I can't ride a unicycle. Oh, you can ride a unicycle. I can't. <laughs> you can't swim. Who's on first? <laughs> there you go, see? See, now I know that. I remember it. I remember that. Yeah. Good, yeah. Well, that is kind of what's being said on the life experience thing. You do learn things like that. Like some people just get it when you're talking, and some people don't get it. Something you get that. They don't know what the reference is. Right, right. We use a lot of pop culture from years ago. So just greet him. Yeah, she does. She comes to you. She speaks volumes with her eyes. <laughs> so basically, Chuck will be back in two weeks. And I'm going to send you this link now to where you have it on the leads and Alec have. Oh, okay. And maybe on the way up, talk to me and yeah. then, you know, if you could call them up, it'd be a quick way to scrape some sales. Called you Chuckles? Only once. Oh. You dead now. Chuckles. Chuckles. That's a funny word. What's up, Chuckles? Oh, yeah. Yes. We'll talk, Chuck. Yeah. Up, Chuck. Yeah. Wow. Dude, a lot of times I play dumb. That's I can see story. why you want to be an actor. That's a good story. <laughs> I can see why you're taking acting classes. You're really good at it. <laughs> He's got a knack. <laughs> oh, I like to pick on you, Josh. I told him, dude, you gotta, you gotta take a picture going like this. You know, a big smile. And get a silk spoon and some t-shirts and just wear them like those around there. Say Flash. He could be, he could pull off a flash, the flash thing, too. Hand out could. a card for the YouTube channel. I don't know. He's not that fast. I'm quick. I'm quick. Are you really? I would tell a girl Like that? that. <laughs> I'm pretty quick. You are pretty quick. You are. I can't do that weight. You said, Oh! Something popped! Something popped! Just God. like that, dude. Quick. Here, I need to run this down the store. Hold on, I need to stretch. Man, I had him 25 pounds. He thought I broke his back. <laughs> what was that? What did you get me? Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> that was tough. You had to like lean to one side and I almost fell over. You had to lean to one side? Yeah, with the weight. You could, like, <laughs> go like this. It's like, oh, man. Did you have a bad back? Huh? Did you have a bad back? No. Maybe, Maybe you have to try to help him out there and give him an excuse for fuck's sake. I think after that I had a bad back. <laughs> so what happened. After a workout, I got a bad back. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he worked me like a dog the other day. It was a good workout. You were like dreaded today, huh? Yeah, I really was. <laughs> I was in there like, oh my god, please. I didn't even lie. I was hating it. We went to the song, there's a couple, one guy I knew pretty well. We like, we stayed in there for about 20 minutes. It was brutal. <laughs> it was like 150. <laughs> no, it was like 190. You started getting nauseated. I had to walk out. <laughs> I like, I was getting a little dizzy. I took a shower and went in the steam room for 10 minutes. About a half hour between the two. That was our workout. <laughs> Get some stretches. Good, good flipping sauna is nice. Feels like a workout. 
It really did. Get your, get your heart pumping. It was so hot though. Get your balls thumping. That's what you need. Balls. Two weeks. Coming back. What are you going to be looking at? Two weeks, I fuck. What are we going to have to do? What? I think we can get those cars, a couple of these cars done. Yeah. We can get it out of the way. Even though they're not completely ready, like the Mercedes in Brooklyn, or that way from Mercedes in Brooklyn. I don't know where he went. Where did you go with that? Oh, where did Brooklyn come from? The Brooklyn and Mercedes. Oh, Brooklyn. He says, he says I, Brooklyn. I thought Brooklyn. I thought it was like... Yeah, that's what you thought. I did. You really did? So was I saying is that wrong? No, I thought that's what you were saying, because of his daughter or oh, like maybe just state, like out of the blue, the like why am I saying that? Yeah. No, because I know you wanted the Mercedes bro this trio right here at some point taken care we of. We might we might buff the Olsen brother. We might buff the white car, I don't know. Um, depends on what we can do when we're down. And a lot of it depends on how much you can do of it. Um, I know how to buff. I know. And it's sort of we've got a good thing that it's a good start. The washing, I'm a little more confident on. Yeah, I and too. The GTA is there. The one with the paint. Yeah. The that camper, that camper part right here, took out, right? Well, the like dude, and the fact that like you're doing all that work and I'm like watching, shadowing, so that's good experience. Like when you take out fuel pumps and stuff. Yeah, I'm learning how to work with obstacles. I'm learning how to walk around stumbling blocks. <laughs> The Just devil ain't got around. nothing on me after now, working with Josh. <laughs> well, and you know, from your point of view, I can imagine it's even more frustrating when you got two kids just standing over you, you know? Yeah, well, you know, I'm, that's the thing. And then I get frustrated because it's not like I turn around and there's nothing I can tell you to do. And we're just standing you know, there like idiots. Because I, yeah, well, and then I turn around and you're standing there like idiots. It's and comfortable you hope, for everyone. You hope you're learning. We hope you're learning. Yeah, but that's... I hope it's something that's sinking in. And then I'll say paint it, and I look in there, and you guys are both sweating and painting, and I'm like, wow, that's cool, man. Yeah? You make it look good, they're a part of it. But then you gotta fuck it up by not doing the brushes. Go around the corner, and the brushes are open, and I walk around, and I walk around, back around to yell at you guys, because you left both the brushes out in the sun. I didn't wash them, I walked around the corner, and before I made it to the door, I looked down on the ground, and there's a gallon of paint. With the lid wide open. Lid totally gone off of it. Yeah. You know, and it's frustrating, because I, I could have done it right the first time. What's the second time? Well, I'm, I'm down for a little what physical abuse for to help learn. I'm not sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. smack up that in The learning curve is the curve your spine gets while you learn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Right that little. What does it look like? pretty nice. They still get them. They still get that. Still, they get a week of 28. Last year, they got down 28 for four days. Negative? And, yep, negative yep, 20 for four days. And then they get that version. Inversions? That's when the, <coughs> the cold air nipples inverted instead of. Oh, so that's a condition that occurs. I mean, you can suck them out. You can really try. But yeah, when you're done, they just pop it. <laughs> I thought I was helping out, too. <laughs> I thought I was doing a duty. You know who you are. Isn't that a real thing? You where some people's know. nipples are inverted? Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. <coughs> Inside joke, sorry. Actually, they fix them those days. Like boot surgery. Yeah, they probably do. A little tic tac. Right, right. I'm sure they do. Yeah. Of course she does. Would you like the tic tac, the cert, or the Hershey kiss? <laughs> Melt in your mouth. <laughs> MMs? I was thinking, uh, we still do that beard contest. He's not gonna shave for a couple of weeks. I get back. We'll see. That's yeah, so to grow it out. He looks like a leprechaun. <laughs> a leprechaun? She went with a leprechaun. Really tall one. A tall one. Yeah, right. A tall leprechaun. Man, no. this short. It looks like Conan O'Brien's look, Joe. Could be like stretched the leprechaun. Stretched the leprechaun. <laughs> That is. You got kicked out of the leprechaun colony because you were too tall for everybody. Oh my god, that reminds me of uh, Elf with Will Ferrell. Right, right. Doesn't it? Well, do you know the Bible? Yeah. The Bible? I'm not going to talk religion to you. I don't talk religion to nobody. Really? That's why I don't know if you know the Bible. The Quran. The Quran. <laughs> I'm not a terrorist.
I swear to God. What does well, the Quran have to racist? do with the terrorists? What does the Quran have to do with terrorists? They're all terrorists. They're all terrorists. <laughs> Every one of them. Every one of them. Yeah, that's a bold, bold statement. That is a bold statement. For you don't get your coffee over here. For such an unlearned person. He ever done you no wrong. What's he say to you? Every morning you go over to this guy. He is Amish. No. What's he say? He is totally Amish. Every morning I go to the Blero. When you go, to, you know the guy that owns this gas station over here at the Blero? No. You don't know him? I don't go there that much. I get my coffee at Mickey D's. Yeah, I forgot. Three dollars a cup. That tall. Do they get refill on it? Seriously? Like you say you burn yourself trying to sue them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have refills on coffee. <coughs> no. No. <coughs> really? Just piss water coffee? Yeah, you, you only get one cup, right? You don't get refills at McDonald's. And that's reading in, maybe. Reading in. What are you eating? Oh, unlimited coffee, see? Yeah. Well, that's a surprise to me. But you have to be eating. You can't go to the drive thru and then swing back in a couple hours later. Or maybe Pop it. Your fresh off. pot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's they, like you. They don't know what a fresh pot is. You went over there the other morning. Mm-hmm. Chuck got some fresh pot when he got here. <laughs> <laughs> but you went there the other morning to McDonald's. Mm-hmm. And you go whip it in and you're like, Hey Carl. It's like, oh yeah. Is that his name? I didn't say the name. <coughs> <coughs> what are you doing today? So I, the one guy there, he was. a couple of them do. I asked last time I went through and got this Coke for you know, 89 cents. I said, can I get six jellies, please? She goes, to go with your Diet Coke? <laughs> she goes, and you want three of each, right? So they all know what I order and stuff. It's just kind of funny, but like, I get it because sometimes, like, when Josh goes up, he won't get my jelly. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I forget that sometimes. That's awful mean. It is mean, huh? It's a very mean, dude. It's sitting there with a dry ass egg muffin. I, I get, I'm, I'm gonna venture to say, several times you guys go to the gym and you grab the water. Didn't say that. Yeah, or the rag. I usually well, you peel them off and you rip them off the chunk rag when you walk in to wipe down the seat. These mm-hmm. assumptions are, are True. not only wrong, but ridiculous. <laughs> I think these are unfounded. And these are Founded. unfounded. <laughs> They're preposterous. <laughs> They're preposterous. I don't appreciate them. It's despicable. It is despicable. <laughs> okay, so.